Hello everyone! In this video I will show you my settings of customized keyboard shortcuts add-on. For instance, I prefer two key combination for close rather than the default three and four key combination. In the second part of the video I'm going to show you how I deal with shortcut conflicts. Before we start, I would like to point out that you may not be able to follow me 100% if you already introduced some customized shortcuts. However, it's the method, not the exact shortcuts that is important. At the moment of making this video, I am on Onki 2.135 and I tried the shortcuts with and without the scheduler, even though I encourage you to use the scheduler. So let's go to the configuration of the customized keyboard shortcuts add-on. I've seen in the comment section of this add-on that some people misunderstand it completely. Customized keyboard shortcuts does not come with change shortcuts. It presents you with the default Onki shortcuts and it's up to you how you change them or whether you change them at all. You might just use this add-on as Onki shortcut cheat sheet because that is what effectively it is. Anyway, let's change close deletion setting first. Editor close does close with increment and I change it to control plus S, to me S stands for sequential. Editor close ALT does close with no increment, but I was unable to set it to any other shortcut. Strangely, any shortcut I tried behaved as sequential close. So I contacted the author and that is his reply. Due to add-on compatibility reasons, editor close ALT actually now just behaves the same way as editor close. However, you can get the functionality C1, C1, C1 with editor close no increment. And that's what I did. I set it to Ctrl plus G. However, again, not all of the shortcuts I try work. I try to set editor close no increment to Ctrl plus A or Ctrl plus C and that failed. Again, that's strange because first, these shortcuts are not on the list of customized keyboard shortcuts add-on and that will suggest I'm free to use them. And secondly, I'm sure it's not due to a conflict with my add-ons because I know exactly what shortcuts my add-ons use. The lesson is that don't get disheartened when you set a key combination that you think is available and it does not work. Try many shortcut combinations, something should eventually work. Coming back to the main topic, I will post the relevant lines of closed deletion below the video, so you don't need to type it. My only warning is that pay attention to syntax, like commas, things like that, because they are very important. The next place that you most likely want to change is under reviewer duplicates. The default option in Onki is to set keys 1 to 4 for answering cards, but many people want to use jkll semicolon as well. For this to happen, you need to insert these few lines in a bracket. Again, I will post everything in the description. Just a side note, using your less dominant hand for brushing your teeth or answering onky cards is actually beneficial for your brain, but that is a topic for a different video. Anyway, let's move on to other add-ons and shortcut conflicts. So I made myself this table, it helps me to stay sane. And my main advice to you is to make similar table for your add-ons. The columns contain the add-on name, default shortcut, change shortcut, if applicable, function of the shortcut and comments. About half of my add-ons do not use any shortcuts. How do I know that? Add-ons either set shortcuts in configuration, so I see what's there, and the second place you need to look is under menus. If that's the case, most add-ons put some additional options under one of the menu on the deck screen. But if the add-on is meant to work in a browser window, like create filter deck from the browser, then you can expect some additional options in a browser window. Alternatively, if the add-on modifies the editor window, then obviously you need to look there. First add-on I want to mention is create filter deck from a browser. The shortcut is Ctrl Shift plus D and at the moment the add-on does not provide the means to change it. Sadly, window browser remove tag in Onki use the same shortcut. Window browser remove tag might not tell you anything, but basically it opens the small window for removing tags. So when you downloaded the create filter deck from the browser add-on, the shortcut will not work. That seems to be a common thing about shortcut conflicts. They don't cause the add-on to crash, but the shortcut will be disabled so that neither the add-on nor Onki can access it. So anyway, I changed the shortcut to control, shift and hashtag, I tried Ctrl Shift plus zero, but that just didn't work. You might notice that Shift Ctrl plus D is used by Pop-Up Dictionary, but it's okay because Pop-Up Dictionary uses it in learning mode and Create Filter Deck from a browser uses it in a browser window, so there will be no conflict. And that is another important thing. The shortcut might repeat, providing the relevant for different Onki windows. For instance, by looking at the setting of Customized Keyboard Shortcuts add-on, you will find that Onki uses this shortcut twice, but the first line has M underscore, so it's relevant to the deck screen and the other to the 
browser window. So let's demonstrate. When I press Ctrl Shift plus I on the deck window, it opens window for importing decks. If I do the same on the browser window, it shows information about the active card. The browser and the editor window have to have unique shortcuts because when you are in a browser, you are also accessing the editor window. I will be cautious about setting identical shortcuts unless you have enough insight. And there are still many key combinations that have not been used for anything. Next add-on for which I change shortcut is Z Frozen Fields. Z Frozen Fields has the same functionality as Frozen Fields, but it does not overwrite the editor class, meaning that it's fully compatible with any add-on that modifies the editor behavior. So anyway, the default shortcut is F9 and Shift plus F9. There are people who don't like using function keys, and I am one of them, so I change the shortcut to Ctrl plus 8 and Ctrl plus 9. Please notice Ctrl plus 1 to 4 is reserved for flags. The last add-on I change shortcut for is mini format pack. I try to follow the rule delete anything that you don't use. So I only left ordered and unordered lists, highlighting and change color of highlighting. Shortcut for highlighting is Ctrl Shift B. I don't use it for close deletion, so I just left it as it is. However, the shortcut for picking the highlighting color is Ctrl Shift N and it does conflict with window browser go to node. What that option does is that it takes cursor from the browser to the editor window. Now I use Ctrl plus hashtag for picking the highlighting color and everything works well now. My last point in this video is that the less add-ons you have, the easier it is to keep them all in check. This is a screenshot from Glutamine GitHub and I'm not sure if you see it because I had to reduce zoom to 50%, but basically a user reports a bug and then gives a list of his active add-ons. It's huge. I observe that some developers will simply not reply if you send them such a hefty list. Huge number of add-ons means huge number of possibilities regarding what really happened and what caused problems. Not to mention that avoiding shortcuts cut conflicts will become a headache. Lastly, here's a short summary of the video. That's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Bye!